we're getting close to a park called the Toilet Bowl. There's a little drop right here. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Outdoor Gold Mountain Biking Gold presents The Ribbon in Grand Junction, Colorado. Are you all about that downhill? Well, this ride is the one for you. The Ribbon is virtually the only trail in Grand Junction that can be shuttled. So get a hold of some friends, leave a car at the Tabwatch Trailhead, and drive up the little park road to the Ribbon Trailhead. The Ribbon parking area has limited parking space, so plan ahead, pick a time, late in the day, if it's during peak season, or any time during the fringe season months, work best for staking your claim. The Ribbon has everything you want in an epic adventure. Ribbons of sandstone slabs, technical rollers, flow, chunk, sketch, drops, a nasty climb out, and probably the fastest section of a single track in the entire world. The only part I don't like about the ribbon is it's just not long enough. That's just too bad. Nothing I can do about that. But this trail can literally be bombed in the proverbial 60 seconds. We're with Brandon. What's up? <laughs> Shane the Crashing Dad. Crashing Brian Dad. Powers. Let's send it. I'm following you, Brandon. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Oh yeah, feels good to be on the back. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We'll take a left right here. <laughs> yes! Are you gonna go down this way? Once you reach the end of the rock slab, you arrive at your only way out, the Toilet Bowl. Featured in Seth's bike hacks and single track sampler, the Toilet Bowl is a serious challenge. Here, you'll see me take the standard line, but there's a way more difficult local line on the south side of the feature. The shortcut should only be attempted by advanced riders, and failure to ride the feature correctly can result in serious injury. The Crashing Dad. <laughs> oh, dude, that is loose. <laughs> Which line do you take? I go right here. You're dropping. Brandon York. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know which way Brandon's gonna go. Woo! Yeah. 
There he goes, he's manual. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, almost totally ate it right there. Not gonna lie. <laughs> How's that? Uh, I guess it looks like it's a soft ice. Next, after transitioning from the toilet bowl, you'll reach the wine glass. The wine glass is perhaps one of the fastest stretches of single track in the entire world. It's steep and sustained. So monitor your speed towards the bottom because the exit holds a little boulder there in which if you lose control, you could hit it. So take that left hand turn. Failure to slow down this section could result in again, serious injury. Learn from the fool, don't be the fool. Thanks Captain Obvious. What's the plan here? Brandon, you're all about that mountain biking gold. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, I am. He's all about it. Good? Yeah. We're filming. Wine glass. Oh, there's ice. <laughs> I'm gonna let him go because this is not <laughs> good. <laughs> really high speed. We're gonna get up there in the 50 mile an hour range down here. There's a rock down here in the bottom. You see Brandon turning left. You wanna do that because that other way is not near as good and friendly to you. Woo! <laughs> not my friendliest run right through there. That's the crashing dad drop right there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Where's all the fish at? <laughs> I know. Valley, easy. Yeah. Rado Life showed me this one. That's cool. GoPro's not even going to. Nope. It's not going to do it justice. I do want to. Woo. I was kind of hoping for a manual off the top. Sweet. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah boy. Half sometimes. Like Shane's bike is what makes him good at mountain biking. <laughs> <laughs> we'll That's see. what makes Shane good at mountain biking. Hopefully when my new one comes, I'll be decent. Yeah, stay tuned on the Crashing seven. Dad. He's gonna get a new bike someday. <laughs> I've always had a hard time like finding my line through this part. Yes. <laughs> I think it was like this squeaky brake that scared me. <laughs> Woo. Nice and sandy. Exercise that 150 millimeter dropper post. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're good, dude. <laughs> Woo! Doggy! <laughs> Wow! <laughs> I 
Ooh. Hey Brandon, can you show me how to climb this? <laughs> oh, oh, I got it. We're still alive. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I almost lost it. Oh, couldn't do it. Yes. Fucking. Full top out right there. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Arch the, the coolest one. Woo. Yeah. I well, I just found, I just found out I didn't really like that line. <laughs> Woo! I got a 150 dropper on this bike. Changed my life. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I just see this rock right in front of me and I'm like, woo! Struggle bus is here right now. Oh yeah, chunky. <laughs> What's up, trail dog? Brandon's lines are really throwing me for a loop. I'm like marveling at your your riding artistry. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, brap! <laughs> I like that dirt bike right there, dude. All right, the waterfall. See what this sketch fest has in store for us today. Oh yeah. This is the final technical masterpiece of the ribbon called Hospital Hill. I had a professional stunt man named Rado Life to come ride this on the drone cam but the conditions were just not right and you kind of have to break into this turn to get down to the bottom. 90% of the riders can't do it and sometimes it's the right choice to defer this option. Where I'm at. Woo! All right, we're at the end of the ribbon. And in our credits, big thanks to, to Brandon who almost wiped out right there. Oh, you see that? <laughs> yeah, that was sweet. <laughs> This is the Ribbon Rides video part one. We got Andy's and Gunny. We might even put a couple others out there for Ribbon Rides. Here's the intersection to Andy's. I'm taking a right. Oh, oh, I don't know how I got there. Shortly after the hospital hill, the Ribbon will sadly end at Andy's loop. From here, you have a couple options. Taking a left will lead you along a violent traverse and climb through stretches of bentonite to a sick downhill back to the Tapwatch trailhead. Taking a right will lead you along the drop-in of Andes back up to the Little Park Road. This climb is pretty tough and loose. Walking will be likely. When you reach Little Park Road, you have a great 
many trail options at your disposal, depending on your parking situation. The gunny loop right across the street, literally the connector's right there. You can follow that down for a short spell, or you can get onto the lunch line, access free lunch, or even eagle's wing. The lunch loop trails are your canvas, so you can paint your picture however you want. And for a little more GJ culture, the ribbon is also a featured stage in the Grand Enduro race that is held in the latter half of spring. I think this year it's in really early June. Anyway, the ribbon being stage one in that race. It ends just short of Hospital Hill, so you don't have to worry about that nasty technical feature. Get stoked. And right here, we're getting to the Little Park Road. We're actually going to turn around and shoot the film for Andy's at this point. So we'll be backtracking just a little bit. Check that out in the Ribbon Rides. Coming soon. Thanks for watching Outdoor Gold's version of the Ribbon Trail. Be sure to check out the description for a couple links and a little more detail. This is Mountain Biking Gold. And we mountain bike gold trails. And the Ribbon's one of those. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on down the road. Narmaste Narm Masters, and we'll see you next time on Andes. Into the cave! Look, it's Brian, the caveman. Wow, this cave is like pretty freaking awesome. It's a good thing I'm wearing my helmet. <laughs> we need a flashlight gimbal. <laughs> Oh, ow! Keep your head, Doc. I just hit my head. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie. At least that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> All the internet trolls live. <laughs> All the people that give you thumbs down. Thumbs down. All those dislike buttons come out of this hole right here in the ground. Dude, it's pretty dark.